Now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. <laughs> All right, it's opening day mm -hmm. in baseball, at least yeah. uh, for most teams. The drillers start uh -huh. tonight on the road. They'll be home next week. Yes. And a lot of the uh, major league teams starting today as well. Everybody's excited about this. You especially. <laughs> My team started last yeah, night, true. and we won. The team I hate, the Chicago <laughs> Cubs, they're about to start in a couple hours, Tell right? us how you really feel about it. <laughs> well, guess who we're going to show then? <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to take you live to the Chicago area. We have a weather camera in our weather camera network just outside Wrigley Field. And the game starts at 1.20, and you can see some of the folks getting ready for that game, kind of standing outside. Uh, Justin, what's that famous street that's outside the stadium? Uh, boy, I should know this. I've been there. I've been right there. Good old Waveland Avenue. Waveland, there sure. you go. One of your yeah. favorites. <laughs> <laughs> now, for this game, let's take you to Viper 2 HD. We'll take you toward the Chicago area, and you can see the weather is dry that direction. We're also dry here in green country, and at the most, we may see a few sprinkles trying to develop. This is one of these days in which you see a lot of clouds, but not that much rain, so generally dry weather expected for today. The stormy weather off to our east. Temperatures today, 61 at noon and 66 degrees at 3 p.m., so the clouds and a northwest wind helping to keep us cool today. And we'll see a high temperature in the upper 60s toward 5 p.m., the wind from the northeast, and expect the cloudy skies to linger all day. 59 degrees now, west and northwest wind at 7. If you were up at sunrise, you probably enjoyed the sunshine, and we've been seeing, the been seeing the clouds building in after that. Upper 50s and lower 60s across green country. Bartlesville, 61. Upper 50s, Pryor, Grove, and Bristow. Also upper 50s, Tahlequah, Muskogee, with 60s showing up toward Eufaula and McAllister. So cool temperature and the clouds will be keeping these temperatures a bit on the cool side into the afternoon. Right now we have a northwest wind. We are going to see the wind speeds increasing slightly this afternoon, closer toward 10 to 15 miles per hour. So a breezy day is coming up. Now we had the sunshine this morning. This is kind of interesting to watch. There's an area of low pressure and by watching the spinning in the clouds, you can make out the low to our east. We're actually seeing these clouds. We were clear this morning, but these clouds in Kansas are wrapping back by behind the low. That's where the clouds are coming from. But we're also in the somewhat drier air, so at the most, there may be a few small showers which develop. Most of the rain forming well to our east. There are some sprinkles ongoing near St. Louis and other areas of storms in the southeast. The future cast for today shows the gray, shows the cloudy skies, rain developing off to our east. 5 p.m. this afternoon, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, and we'll have that cool north wind near 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, overnight tonight, we will gradually see some of the clouds breaking up. Could see a few clouds around for Friday morning, but overall for tomorrow, for Friday, we'll see a lot more sunshine. So the clouds have moved in, and they look to be here to stay for today. Northwest wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour and the high in the upper 60s. Temperatures around the rest of Green Country do cool down north and northeast of Tulsa. We'll only see temperatures in the lower 60s for highs toward Coffeyville and Bartlesville. In fact, you're already near that now. Temperatures not warming up that much more this afternoon and a few 70s for highs down toward southeastern Oklahoma. Tonight, another cool one. Here in Tulsa, we'll see a low of 50 with some 40 showing up outside of the county. Bartlesville at 46, upper 40s into Bristow, Pryor, and Tahlequah, and 50s down toward McAllister. A check on the seven-day forecast shows that we're going to see rain chances increasing by Saturday. Now, after looking over some of the weather data, I am going to make a few changes to this forecast, probably going to lower the temperature slightly on Saturday and also going to lower the temperature slightly for Sunday morning, Easter sunrise morning, probably going to drop that down to the mid 40s for a low. Dina just gave me a look when I made that, <laughs> when I said that. It'll be cool, but not overly cold. And as far as the rain, it still looks like most of the rain is going to fall on Saturday. Then the trend for the Easter Bunny on Sunday will be decreasing rain in green country. But certainly something to watch over the next day or so. You know, the kiddos, they don't want to put jackets over mm -hmm. their cute Easter dresses. <laughs> we need to warm those temperatures up just a little bit. It is going to be a little cool in yeah. the morning. Nice warm up in the afternoon, but cool for Easter sunrise. All not right. too bad, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thank thanks. you, George.